She a beach baddie. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. <laughs> Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. Hey, what's up, guys? The girl Paige here, Miss Soulful Paige, and I'm back with another video. In a couple of weeks, my family and I are gonna be going on a cruise to the Bahamas. It's sort of like a birthday celebration for my mom. I know it's only two weeks away, but I'm an over planner that likes to procrastinate. <laughs> If that makes any type of sense, it made sense to me. It may not make sense to you, my bad. I went ahead and made a hair appointment today to get my hair braided. So if you mention my hair looking dusty right now, you're anti-black, I hope you know that. I'm about to head on out, get that done. And I might stop by the mall just to see if they got any type of formal dresses for the formal night that's gonna be happening on the boat, as well as see if I get some extra travel essentials. So yeah, I just wanna take you guys along on how I prep for this cruise. This is gonna be the first one I've ever been on in like five years so it's almost like I'm going on a cruise trip for the first time so it's gonna be great to sort of take you guys to see how I prep and plan for this super super fun trip so if you guys are interested be sure to stick around as always make sure you like hit the like comment and subscribe button to check out more content from me and let's head on out to get this situation taken care of because hey y'all i'm back in my car i just got the hair done so originally i was trying to get like that burgundy color that was like more of a deeper wine red but they were out and at this point i just wanted to hurry up and get in the chair and get my hair started because y'all i was originally scheduled for 9 30 right i walked up you know i got here a little bit earlier than 9 30 i saw there were a couple people waiting in their cars and i was like okay there might be like one or two other people that are also maybe scheduled at 9 30 but it's usually like four ladies working on hair so i was like okay that's not a problem but five minutes before i get up go walk to the door and i saw another gentleman walk to the door right and i was like oh maybe it's open you know so we can start heading inside no he opens the door it's locked and then there's like three other ladies behind me coming in to come wait to get their hair done and we're all just kind of like talking i'm not talking i'm just listening to them and one of the girls had to get rescheduled for today because they were too booked um last week another girl her appointment was at nine so another person was at 9 30 and the guy that was before me was at 9 30. so we're all here looking like did they just like quadruple book everybody and an old boy that first opened the door he called and the lady gonna tell him hey can we reschedule you for another day so i'm over here nervous because i was the one that had like Oh dang, someone just parked right next to me. But I was the one that was the latest at this point that has not been rescheduled. So I'm over here nervous. So when the lady told me they didn't have my hair color, she was like, if you were to go pick it up now, we would give you a discount on your hair. And I was like, uh-uh, that's fine. Um, Let me just get a different color, let's do 30. And then I was like, let's do 1B. Like, I just really wanted to get in the chair, get my hair started and be about it. This is my first time, I think, doing like this much of a blend. Cause in the past I've only really done like 1B and then like, like a highlight. But this time I've ever had it blended. So it looks pretty nice. I am about to head over to the gas station cause I got 47 miles left and then I gotta go to the mall to go check out Windsor for their dresses and just to get something to eat cuz I've been here since 9. It is 5 p.m. The only thing I had to eat were my Girl Scout cookies which by the way if y'all ain't fucking with the shortbread you have zero taste. hey guys i just got back from the mall and i actually got quite a bit of stuff for the cruise and i just want to do a little bit of a haul from what you guys might not have seen. The first store I went to was Windsor for a formal dress for a formal night. And I ended up going with this 
lovely green number i just thought it was so pretty and the way it just hugs my body i was just like this is the one but i was really stuck between the sparkly black dress and then this dress but at the end of the day i was like this is gonna be the one that i'm gonna wear on the cruise but because i loved it way too much i also bought the black dress also really super cute and my reasoning for it was just because like i don't have a nice formal semi-formal type of black dress so i thought this was the perfect time to get it and i absolutely love it and as far as accessories go i also just stopped and got these cute little sparkly gold earrings just as like a nice little way to dress up the green dress i have some silver ones and i have some rose gold ones but i don't have gold and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go for like a green and gold back-to-back -back look i did stop in h m but i didn't get anything but the store i went to after h m was airy because i wanted another swimsuit to wear on the trip i did buy one online that should be arriving either tomorrow or thursday i did want to get another swimsuit just to kind of top it all off and i got this one shoulder one piece black bathing suit i'm not gonna lie it took me a minute to figure out how it crisscrossed because i was wearing it wrong it was supposed to crisscross like this in the front and then it's supposed to line up perfectly in the back i also got a pair of brown and goldish and pink sunnies i only have black sunglasses so having this brown pair i think would go really good for my lighter toned outfits and then the last store i bought something at before things started closing down because our mall closes at eight and most of the doors close at seven was copper closet at first i was just gonna go and look but i saw this like as soon as i walked in and i couldn't pass it up and it is this midi length crochet skirt Skirt. and then right here in the front it has like a little slit up the side and i just thought this would look so good as a swimsuit cover-up i just i couldn't pass it up and they had a matching cropped tank but just like the skirt it was only one size and then the way the straps are they're those non-adjustable straps and then sometimes the front can go a little too low those kind of tops just don't look right on me but that was my shopping haul for today unfortunately i couldn't go to sephora to get my mom's gift and some shoes just because they were closing early today so i'll just have to get that in a couple of days but until then i also stopped by five guys and i need to go ahead and eat that before it gets cold and i need to go to sleep early because i got work early in the morning so i will talk to you guys later hey guys i got home with my little bubble tea and i've just been pretty much editing a youtube video pretty much talking about like why i left korea for the past couple of hours which should be up by the time this video goes out so if you haven't checked it out definitely go check that out but while i was gone i got a couple of packages so let's go ahead and do a little bit of unboxing first package i got from amazon it is a bag like a beach bag that i had ordered because i don't have a single beach bag in my bag collection which feels very blasphemous considering i'm literally from florida like what da -da 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 -da. obviously it's kind of folded up right now so it's a little flat but it's pretty cute it's very minimalist very simple very classy oh this thing is huge Bro, look at how big this thing is. Hold on. I really liked it just because it had this cute little ribbon, this cute little keychain on it, like little ship wheels on it. Because this is definitely gonna be the bag that I bring onto the boat as a sort of like, you know. I'm gonna probably use this as like a carry-on just so I can put like my important stuff. Cause you know we're not gonna be able to get access to our suitcases for a couple of hours. So keeping a lot of the essentials and then maybe an extra swimsuit and a cover up or something just to have with me, I think would be very important. This Pack number two, fashion notebooks. So I got three things from Fashion Nova. The first item I got was a new swimsuit because most of my swimsuits are like a couple of years old and it's always good to get a new swimsuit for the season every summer if you can. So I got this one swimsuit here. It's like in a muted green color. So it's a two piece. So this is the top part. The bottoms are like a high waist 
style but i really just wanted like a nice muted color and i've been really into blues and greens lately so seeing this on the website it looked like it would fit me and with every swimsuit i need a cover-up i originally was trying to get this other cover-up i saw another youtuber have on from fashion nova that was so cute it was like crochet it was kind of like an off-white shade it was a uh, gorgeous but they no longer hide it on the site but i did find one similar to it so this is the top it's in a tank top style i'm a little anxious about how this is gonna fit and then this is the skirt it's not as see-through as the other one that i got from Calper closet just based off of first looks it looks pretty well woven together so i think this will be super cute okay so in a plot twist situation i think i like the top more than i like the skirt the top actually fits pretty well it's a little baggy like it's a little loose like right here when I relax my shoulders a little bit. The skirt, it's a little bit loose around the waist and then it actually is longer than I thought it was. Like, <laughs> it's giving Victorian age. So little ankle, ooh, they go crazy. Ooh, I think I could probably make it work. She a beach baddie. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. <laughs> and next one I got was kind of an impulse buy just because I saw Fashion Nova was running a buy one, get one free deal on matching sets, so. I couldn't pass a no stealer deal like that. And just based on the color, it's already a different vibe than what <laughs> the last two items were. So this one is a cute little pink Y2K Juicy Couture wannabe velour tracksuit. So this is the top. Honestly, I thought this was gonna be more of a crop style, I'm not gonna lie. So it looks pretty long on me and it comes with a pair of matching shorts so instead of matching pants we got matching shorts which is honestly perfectly fine with me because it's hot down here like i said the jacket ended up being longer than i originally thought it was gonna be so the shorts are cute however the shorts are pretty see-through i think it's super cute it's really giving that y2k rich expensive type of mom vibe like i low-key feel like regina george's mom from mean girls i'm not a regular mom i'm a cool mom bro <laughs> all i need is a cute little like bag and and then a nice little chihuahua. Kim, I hope you know that we have to go shopping later. And last time you came to our fitting, you were late. And I just find that very disrespectful. Yeah. I now have most of the clothing that I actually want to wear. The only thing I really need on my shopping list is probably another pair of heels. I'm gonna change out of this actually i'm gonna think of lounging it for a couple for a little bit longer before because i'm really i'm really fucking with this oh i'm gonna get ready to wind down go to bed and all that for the 7 a.m shift in the morning and i will see you guys soon cool everyone say hey song amazing see you guys later <laughs>it's been a minute since i've seen you it is currently tuesday and we are down to the final countdown we have less than a week before our cruise and even lesser than that before we head out on the full vacation to orlando and i have gotten zero packing done is anyone surprised? Like, let's be so real. I don't think anyone's really surprised. I have another off day today and I came out to the commons out here in Destin to get some last minute things, including my mom's birthday gift because I could not get that done last time we went shopping and also to get some shoes as well as just getting some extra little toiletries, doodads and bebobs for the trip. I'm gonna put this on and then we're gonna head out. Let's go.
<laughs> so <laughs> this 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 situation right here this is both more than what i asked for but also exactly what i asked for just got back from destin and let's just talk about the fact that spring break is really out in full force like it was so packed out in the comments today like sephora was bustling with people every which way i walked it was just packed with people and the fact is y'all not like today's a saturday or a sunday or nothing no today was a tuesday i was gonna go ahead and do like a little haul of everything i got so first and foremost I went to sephora i got my mom her perfume this is her birthday gift she got the the 50 milliliter version so that way she has a lot to use but not like too much you know and then next for me i bought the laneige cream skin toner and moisturizer i love this toner so much and i am almost running out i have like about that much left so i definitely needed to restock up on this before the trip if you have dry skin this is the creme de la creme for dry skin and then the last thing that i got which i really did need to buy was a face mask by dr jar it's the brightening solution so this is the one that's supposed to brighten and revitalize any type of tired skin and the next store that i went to was h&m i only got one thing and that was this electric blue tank this is the exact type of style of tank top that i love i have a black one a beige one and a white one kind of in the same exact style and because i already fulfilled my neutrals i was like let me go ahead and get a colorful version of this also i stopped by best buy because i wanted to get a backup battery for my camera because i have a backup one but for some reason it doesn't really fit my camera all that well it low-key is a bootleg one so i really shouldn't have it but I do plan on filming a vlog of the cruise, so I want a nice little backup to back me up. I stopped in Francesca's just as a little pit stop. I was like, let me do a little see. Let's see what Francesca's playing with. As you can see, I got a big bag because that's what I got. Found my shoes that I've been so desperately looking for. So I got these two pair, really simple basic heels but these are the exact type of style and the exact type of heels that i've been looking for i'm not too big on the suede material but overall they still looked good they fit me well i'm super happy i managed to find these and they had my size and that was supposed to be the end of it right however i got something else <laughs> so i saw these shorts on a mannequin and i immediately was like i need to find those shorts and they better have my size these were extra small you guys and i was really worried i was like if these don't fit me i might have a breakdown in this francesca's but it was all weighted and i just saw the belt on it simple details on the shorts is definitely my vibe but they're really flowy really breathable perfect for spring summer i stopped in bath and body works as well in the comments and this was just to get like a little room spray for our room and then after i did all that i went and stopped by target because i did want to cop a couple of extra things both in terms of travel toiletries and other travel clothing items I bought another pair of shoes. I saw a similar pair of like these in Forever 21 while I was in the comments, but didn't have in black, but I found these in Target. These are just the little slip-on styles. Next, I got uh, another little braid bonnet. I needed a bigger bonnet for my braids because the small one is cute, but it scrunches up my braids at the bottom and I don't want the constant scrunch look. I got a smaller version of the Vaseline Cocoa Radiance. Got myself some body wash, a little thing of mouthwash, small thing of deodorant a tied to go pen i do plan on wearing a lot of white i am a little messy i ain't gonna lie this last thing wasn't essential i just saw it in the wine department i was like i kind of gotta try this I got the black girl magic bubbly rose and i just saw black girl magic and rose and i was like they made this for me let's do a little taste test cheers not bad definitely gonna pour this over ice because it's a little lukewarm right now Okay, so that was my little shopping haul and I will not be buying any more items for this entire cruise. I think I pretty much got everything that I needed. The rest of today, I'm going to eat my wings, getting ready for work tomorrow, and I will see you guys later. Hey guys, good to see you again. It's finally Thursday. We are T minus one day before I leave. I finished up shadowing at the PT clinic that I shadow for and then I went and stopped at my job picked up my tips while also getting myself a little refreshment because I did not have anything to eat this morning or anything to drink because I was running late so I got 
Dun, da, da, da. I call it the TikTok drink because that's really what it is. Everyone and their mom gets this drink. But I just needed something with caffeine while also being like really, really sweet. I also got myself some bacon egg bites because I am hungry. The nail salon is like right across the street from Starbucks, so I'm just gonna eat this. I'm just waiting for my mom because my mom's supposed to be coming to meet up with me to get our nails done. Yep, that's where we are right now. It's been a couple hours since I last saw you. I got home from the nail salon and I cleaned up my room and did a bit of laundry because there was a couple of pieces that I wanted to bring on this trip that were in the laundry. But I pretty much have all the clothing that I want to bring on this trip. It's a lot of stuff. By the time it took me to get all this sorted out, I looked at the clock and suddenly it was 10 p.m. But I still haven't actually put them in the suitcase, nor have I gotten any of my toiletries and makeup and other stuff ready. So we're doing good. We're doing good. This is the suitcase that I am planning on bringing. It's like the largest suitcase out of the trifecta that I have. But because we are also doing a trip to Orlando in between our cruise trip with all the stuff that I got, I need to bring the big boy. So let's get packing. <laughs> Okay, so I finally packed up everything. I packed up my suitcase and then I grabbed all the toiletries and my makeup and I packed it all in my little toiletry bag that I always bring and everything managed to fit without any type of struggle. So I'm super happy and all I really gotta do in the morning is just get dressed and then put any of like the toiletries and stuff that I use in the morning in the bag as well. But yeah, everything is pretty much packed up. The next time I will see you guys will be when we're about to board the cruise. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited to come along with me. But until then, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, if you like this content, like what you see, click that like, comment, and subscribe for me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I think we need them 20 hours. She not can she can eat a car.